In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a really cool top-down shot without using a C-stand. C-stands have many different purposes and are a great tool to have, but they are expensive and not everyone has access to one. So I'm going to share with you some things that have worked for me in the past. First off, you are going to want to pick up one of these and what they are is they mount your camera to pretty much anything. You can get them on Amazon for under $20. I'll leave the link in the description. Just make sure that you get one that is able to hold the weight of your camera. And these little mounts are great for loads of different things. One thing that I've done a lot of is I've placed a ladder against my wall and used one of these mounts to attach my camera to it. You can also do the same thing with one of those big household lamps. You can mount your camera to that. I would just look around your house and see what movable objects you have that you could attach your camera to to give you that top down shot. If you're shooting in a kitchen, there's loads of different things you can attach your camera to. Cupboard doors, shelves, handles. So if you're trying to get a top-down shot of meal prep, there's tons of different things that you can use in this area to make that work for you. Another thing that I've done before is use a heavy-duty suction cup. You can get these on Amazon for under $20, and what they are meant for is lifting heavy pieces of glass. So I've used one of these mounts, and I've mounted my camera to the suction cup that was on a wall or a cupboard or whatever. And with this method, I would just recommend before you get too crazy with it, test the camera with the suction cup very low on a wall and put a bunch of pillows and blankets under it and just test how long it will stay up for. Mine will stay up for about 12 minutes. Now, obviously you want to be very, very careful with this method because you are having your camera hanging on something that may fall eventually. So what I like to do is I like to spot my camera while I'm shooting a subject or an item. So if it falls, my hands are right there and I can grab it quickly. While it's not very likely that your camera is going to drop within a couple of minutes, if it does, this is not going to end well for anyone. With all this being said, this is a really, really cool way to get top down shots and it is very effective. And that's it. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see future videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.